vlog, yes, I'm starting it with cooking because the last vlog that I did, everybody was like, oh, what were you cooking? It sounded really nice, the chicken subgay. So I thought, right, today I'm actually just making um, an Indian curry, which is alukima, which is potatoes and lamb mince. But because I'm such an OCD freak, um, my lamb has to be completely cooked. So first what I do is I put nothing in the pan. As you can see, the lamb leaves so much water. Um, I washed it three or four times before I put it in a pan. Um, and now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna drain all that water and that's it ready to cook later. So I don't like to boil it down. So because it, the lamb leaves water, like it obviously it releases water um, after it's been washed so I like to drain all of that so I'm gonna wash that pop it aside and continue with um, getting the actual um, curry ready itself so uh, do join me with that okay so in a pot I have taken a nice um, medium to large onion and I am browning it. The only thing that's inside of that is a little bit of zira, which is cumin seeds. Um, and that just helps um, take the smell of the mince away. So I like to pop that in just now and then a little bit later. So next I'm going to take some fresh garlic. Everything that goes in my curries is always fresh always always fresh so i'm just gonna pop the light on and i'm gonna start peeling my garlic fresh garlic and i'm going to just chop it very finely and pop it into the onions while they cook okay so once the onions and the garlic have been frying for about 10 or 15 minutes and they're nice and brown you want to add your mince so i have added my mince and now I'm going to go ahead and add some spices. So, to start with, I am going to add some red chilli powder. So, I'm going to add about a teaspoon and a half. Okay. And next you're going to take some turmeric powder, which is the yellow one. Okay. And I'm going to put in about two level teaspoons. Okay, so we're going to, at this point, we're going to also add in a little bit more of the cumin seeds. And I'm going to take about half a teaspoon. That's perfect. Because I'm making a small amount today, normally I make a very large amount. <laughs> So that's why. So I'm also going to take a little bit of coriander powder, just half a teaspoon at this point, or maybe a little bit. Yeah, that's fine. Half a teaspoon. Okay, I'm going to give that a good mix. So because we kind of slightly pre-cooked the mince, we're now going to cook this. Now, I usually cook it because it's a curry and obviously we don't want our lamb to be um, quite tough. We want it to be nice and soft. So as you can see at the same time, I'm just kind of stamping it, kind of like mushing it down. We want the mince to be no lumpy, not lumpy at all. So I am gonna give this a mix and I'm gonna let this cook for a good 30 minutes or so. But what I'm gonna do while it's cooking is gonna add some fresh ginger. So I'm gonna peel that and I'm gonna grate it in. And I'm also going to put in some green chilies, and I'll let this cook now. Just cook away, um, and you've got to stand over it because obviously we don't want it to burn. Um, and I don't like to add water in mine. So now if it is starting to burn, you will need to turn the gas down. Um, so let me get this cooked and pop in the ginger and the chilies, and I'll be right back. Okay guys, so that's the mince which has been cooking for about 35 minutes now. So as you can see, the butter has risen, and the colour is nice and brown, and it is ready for the next stage, which is the potatoes. So I am going to throw in the potatoes, and please don't mind, but yes, we do 
uh, Dean does love his potatoes. Um, so that's the potatoes added in. Now, this needs to be steamed and further cooked for about 15 to 20 minutes till the potatoes are nice and soft. And the only thing that I'm going to add now is salt and coriander, fresh coriander leaves. So I'm gonna chop them up, I'm gonna pop them in and pop some salt in and then our alukima is nearly ready so i'm going to pop the lid on that and i'm going to let that cook okay guys so after the potatoes cooking for 20 minutes that's me just added the um coriander as you can see i've chopped it quite fine and i've popped it in and i'm also going to put in half a teaspoon of garam masala powder which is um, available at most shops you can get pick it up grinded be grinded or you can buy garam masala whole and you can grind it yourself um, this is what it should look like once it's nearly done so I'm just gonna let the coriander leaves cook a little bit because I don't like them too raw because then Dean moans, he's always like, Mom, I don't like them. I can taste it in my mouth. <laughs> so, yep. Yeah. And as you can see, like the butter's starting to rise. That's That means that it's, you know, it's ready. The mince is definitely ready because there's no residue of water. So, yep, yeah, that's my little recipe for potato and mince curry. And that is Dean's absolute favourite. So I hope you enjoy it. Hey, Dean. You happy? You got your alukima? Nice and fresh? Yeah? <laughs> yeah, so there you go guys. Dean loves his alukima. Uh, a little bit of butt on the buttery side today, but we'll avoid the butters. Yeah, Dean? Too buttery!